All right, guys, what's up? It is your boy, Petty Rick, here with Dooley, and we're at Barber Motorsports Park for the Barber Small Bore Festival, thanks to Honda. They're bringing us out to check out the 2025 Honda Grom in a very unique way. What are you doing on this bike this weekend? We go on racing. Yeah, baby. Honda has teamed up with Man in the Box to build a slew of ultra competitive, super cool 2025 Groms for us to race here at the Proving Grounds at Barber, specifically for Dooley to race. I'm not fitting my fat ass in a tracksuit. No shot that happened. So we just went through all of our presentation and everything about the bike. We're super stoked to learn all about it. But first, we got to take a look at it so you guys check it out. We just got done with the first practice session of the day, first and only before we go to lunch on our tour and then to the race tonight. How are you feeling? Yeah, no, uh, it's, t it's nice to be on a little bike again. Uh, definitely a little tough to adjust uh, coming back in. Now I'm starting to feel a little bit uh, more flow in the bike and we've got some things uh, adjusted. Feeling a lot better, feeling a lot smoother. Can't wait to go out and race tonight. Yeah, consistency's been good. Our fastest laps aren't faster than the fast guys, but our consistent laps are better than everybody else's. Yes, and it's a three-hour race, so we're we're banking on consistency. We're projected thinking like second place right now. Uh, hopefully we can bump up some speed. Yep. So, first impressions of the Grom, the 2025 Grom. Now, this one's a little bit different. Olin suspension, Yoshi exhaust, it's got clip-ons, slightly different body position. However, the seat, is the biggest change for me. It extends down to the body. So your inner thigh is still cushioned, which I thought was a brilliant move on their part. Really, really like that. First impression, it's a solid ride. All right, guys, we are about to get started on the Grand Prix race. Christian's about to hop on the bike here in a little bit. We're playing a reactionary game against what the other team riders are doing, figure out who's the best matchup for our group. Should be a great time. Any last words? Let's go out there and uh, do what we do best. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Hi, Rev Trev here. You can hit me on all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Xbox. It's always Hi, Rev Trev. Our team name is... Team Sloppy Sprockets. We're looking for a good race. I got some good team members here. All right, my name is Abi Ishwarapa over in Santa Monica, California. I'm one of the owners of Iconic Motorbikes. I also have Bikurious, B-I-K-E-U-R-I-O-U-S. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, really excited to be part of this. I think we have a chance at this one, so it's gonna be a good time, yeah. You already know me, it's Dooley. We're looking for a good time. It's gonna be a great race. We got a great track. Look forward to seeing uh, how we turn out. gang we are cooking uh first rider is out we are uh running about 
two tenths behind the, the leader right now. We are running about a two tenth a lap better pace than them. And we have already made a couple of uh, overtakes on the lapped traffic that is the team that we are most worried about, which is Team Old Testament. So we're already putting a really big gap on them early, which is fantastic. That's really the only team we're super worried about. So, so far so good. Obviously we've got a pro racer on our team, so it certainly helps, but he is uh, absolutely killing it. He's settling into a nice pace early and we are running 30 minute intervals, 30 minute stints to try to prevent any sort of uh, rider fatigue as we go through this three hour race. So should be a really good time. Um, I think we've got a really great strategy. So we're, we're holding out for the win. fresh clothes it's, yeah race is over race is over first place hold on show this thing off for a second show this thing off for a second look at this look at first that. place barbara smallmore grand prix love it pretty rad yeah pretty sick cool. so how was the race bike obviously not not quite a stock grab but there are a lot of stock yeah yeah there. it's not completely stock majority you know the brakes were stock uh suspension was olin's we had kendas for tires and we had that Yoshi exhaust, which sounded fantastic. And we had the clip-ons, which made that uh, even better for uh, body positioning. Three hours. Yeah, long that's, one. That's, that's a long one. First endurance race, you know, the team crushed it. Thanks to Pat, killed it with the strategy. Trevor and Abby, you guys did great. Makes a, makes a team effort and uh, very, very happy. So midday update, mid morning on day two, we are out here at the Honda booth, hanging out with these guys while we are just kind of out here enjoying the festival. Christian and I were cruising around on the new Nabbies earlier today, just having an absolute blast, full tuck, drafting off each other to, to get up to speed, which is super fun and just makes those bikes a little bit of a giggle machine, which is always a good time. We're gonna be jumping on the new Groms this afternoon. I know we raced them yesterday, had a fantastic time with that. Um, so far, it's a really good crowd. The rain is starting to go away. We're getting a little bit of sun shining through finally. Um, it's been a wet and soggy morning so far, but hoping as the weather dries out, more people start showing up, and, uh, should be a good time. Okay, so 2025 Grom, Dually, dual vlog, hey, 
Back on the fucking channel, boys and girls. Here we go. Super exciting. We're, actually, so, we're doing it together. I know. I press launch with both the, the goobers. <laughs> we're doing okay. So, I am on our beautiful blue, very similar to the uh, the blue of our race bike. You are on the, uh, what do they, is that Alpine white, Aspen white? Yeah, I can't remember. Or it's the, Honda, uh, so is it winning white? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's white. It's definitely a winner. Yeah, she's a, no, the blue's the winner. So 2025 Grom, things that are different. Uh, dash setup is definitely different. You've got a lot more info on here. Um, you got a little shift light and it's cool. Um, the seat is drastically different on the 25 models, which is great. Yeah, what, I, what I really like about what that they did with the seat is they extended the cushion all the way down yeah, to like your, down the your side, inner thigh. Right? Yeah, it makes yeah. it makes it for a nice little grip. Yeah, nice little grip you. when you're when you're getting a little little frisky with it, you're able to kind of lean your body onto the seat much much better, which is great. Um, still the same power plant, the same five speed that was on the uh, the pre facelift uh, 2024 and older Groms, although the five speed is relatively new. Um, same switches, kind of that classic Honda, you know, the horn being in a weird spot, the turn signals being down below it. Fun fact, we've got single channel ABS on the Grom, so it's your front only ABS. Indeed. Uh, no rear. You can, yes, you can. So there's a, a couple different options, right? So sure. two versions, uh, the SP and your regular Grom do not have ABS. You that can is get correct. a third model, which is yep. ABS, and it is that only front uh, ABS IMU setup. Yeah, the IMU is really cool though. It's not like a six axis or anything crazy like that. This isn't a super sport bike. It doesn't need anything that fancy. Um, but what it is, it's a, I think it's a single axis and it essentially picks up when you're doing a stoppie. Like if the rear wheel, like the angle of the bike is too drastically forward, it knows the rear wheel is coming up. So it, it initiates ABS on that front to exactly. prevent you from coming over the handlebars, which is uh, both uh, inconvenient and not good for your health if you uh, fly over the front handlebars on any sort of motorcycle. Here we go. Sup, Duels? What a buddy. What's up, buddy? Out <laughs> uh, here doing, doing dual press launch shit. It's a good time. <laughs> so mine is rather dirty. Apparently some of the other uh, members of our group have decided that off-roading these bikes is a fun adventure, so we're probably going to do a little bit of that later, but we'll see. Um, but this is it. So you can definitely see on the edge here, the seat comes super far down and over. It's really, really nice. Uh, the fender eliminator um, needs one for sure. That, that's every Honda Grom. Um, definitely need the fender eliminator. Same power plant and engine as before. Nothing's changed there. Same five speed. I do love the LED tail light. It looks really quite nice. LED headlight, also fantastic. Really good look on these little bikes. I think the, the gr kind of the bodywork redesign they did is really nice. Yeah, it looks very like smooth and stylish now. You know, the mm -hmm. headlight used to be very bulky. And yeah, if you had like an OG ROM like I did, you would uh, see how, how far they've really come. And it looks, it looks yeah, much yeah, nicer. Yeah, those OG ROM headlights were definitely huge. I think the biggest thing for me is going to be the seat, dude. Cause you, because it's so flat and it comes down on the side so much, you can really move your body position around the bike really, really easily. Good, a game changer. Um, game changer yeah it's it's really wide so it's very very comfortable as well so now yeah also you know pat you're how tall uh 6'3 320 pounds legs torso proportionate yep and i'm about 5'10 so, 5'11 five, five, yeah so here i'll get on seat. this you take a step back show the people what a bear riding a unicycle looks like <laughs> you know size wise it's definitely i can get through the full range you know i might have to get a knee out to go through the full range of steering, but it's definitely not bad. Yeah. And how do you look on there as not a gigantic person? It's not that hard to get no. on here either. Yeah, like, exactly. I mean, like, it's a mini moto. Like, it's yeah. gonna fit most people really appropriately. And it's just a, it's a hooligan machine. Let's call it what it is. These are the ABS models. Yep. Um, at least the white one is specifically. I don't know if the blue one is. The blue one is not. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get into I some trouble is what it sounds like to me. I believe white is speci specifically abs only oh okay well yeah so let's speaking of things that are specific to the different models let's talk about pricing for a moment yeah so pricing it. on these guys the base model is 35.99 really really great value it's been about that same price for a good long while for the honda groms the sp model is a hundred dollars more 
which is wild. $36.99 for the SP. What you get with that is um, an undertail or like an underbody fairing, which looks really, really cool. Really completes the look. SP model is definitely for the guys that are going to be doing road racing or if you do that, you know, these are such moddable bikes. So if you stretch and lower it, stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend the body, the underbody if you're an off-road hooligan like myself. Um, and then the ABS model is $100 more than that, $37.99. I mean, it's whatever you're comfortable with, right? Obviously, yeah. folks do different things with Groms, like whoever had this before us, obviously yeah. like to play in the dirt. Yeah, definitely had a good time. This has been uh, just driven around Barber for the most part and around yeah. like the surrounding area. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So super fun little bikes, super happy with them, I think some really good changes again for me the biggest thing is the seat what's the biggest thing for you yeah i say i gotta say the seat is probably one of the biggest things for sure and sure. i really do love the headlight the headlight makes a, a very nice difference for yeah. this motorcycle yeah yeah really good look it looks very high quality well let's go cruise around a little bit more and chat about how they feel in comparison because it is a grom um, it is if grom. you are familiar with the grom platform you know how they feel they're just fun little little giggle machines let's call them what they are <laughs> um let's go to the right here um they're fun little giggle machines so you kind of know what you're getting into with a grom with any of these little one two five kind of mini moto situations but like even as my biggest gripe with the first and second gen grom and i actually owned a second gen grom for a short while um it was my wife she really tooled around on it more than i did but was the seating like you had to fight where you wanted to be on the bike seating position wise to really figure out if it's something that you found comfortable or not so there's a great example of a second gen grom and how drastically different this shirt the third gen is that seat is aftermarket for sure but you can tell kind of the hump that is on that seat that kind of prevents you from sliding really far back on it which this seat i'm on from Dooley's point of view i'm sure you can see i can get all the way back without any real issue because it is very flat and really on the same plane that the rest of the bike is oh yeah and it's so nice because like whether you're leaning off the bike or you know if you just want to be moving around if you're commuting on something like this if you live in a in an urban area what have you it's really easy to move your body weight where it's one most comfortable for you but two where it makes the most sense also eat gravel <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, go, going back to that, I mean, look, we go from <laughs> pavement to a little rock little rock trail, and this thing just no problem. Yeah. Just eats it up. I mean, that's kind of the whole hooligan vibe that these little guys provide. No, I did notice one thing that I really like, and I don't remember if this is in previous models. Uh, we do have a shift light. We do have a shift light, which is rad, so it's right there. Lights up pretty good. We've got your standard high beam. We do have, the Chase will love this, directional turn signals. Now they are incandescent bulbs. They're traditional bulbs. They're non-LED, but they work. They are plenty bright. They're definitely plenty big. Um, they're easily seen, so not a big deal. Generally a fan of the looks of Groms. They're super cool, just fun little bikes. And I think they look like they're fun. You know, yeah. like some cars just look fast. This bike looks fun because it is, frankly. But, you know, it's just one of those neat things that we can absolutely just cruise around. Like full throttle, pinned, third gear. You're not going to be breaking any laws. You're not going to be blowing the speed limit out of the water. You're not getting any big old speeding tickets or anything of the like. But you're going to giggle and smile the whole way because of what this is, you know. Chase has done first rides on Groms before. He's not done one on this model, obviously. We're here for the premiere of it. Um, and he's definitely done, you know, Z125s, I believe. He's done all sorts of other mini moto esque bikes. I think he's done a monkey, if I recall. I believe so. Um, which is a retro styled Grom for the most part. But, you know, this is just something that, especially in this environment, is so cool and so fun to be around. Like, Everybody's blasting around on these little mini bikes. Nobody's taking life seriously at all. And we're all just here to have a good time. Now, a really cool thing about this event and about this bike, and again, talking and speaking to the versatility of the platform, um, they've got pig bike races here at Small Bore. 
we do have a large number of like there's drag races you uh you can sign up with sct to run the mini bike track which we did last night it's just super rad that there's so much to do here there's six miles of off-road trails we can go play on and i believe what everyone is headed to now starts in about an hour is a super gnarly hill climb yes which i'm moderately terrified to even witness because people are definitely going to get hurt but oh yeah we definitely saw the carnage uh, last night when we were uh, coming back too <laughs> so before we go and explore anymore kind of give me your your thoughts having ridden the race bike and now checking out the street bike the the more stock version obviously what are your thoughts yeah so uh definitely uh, a different feel obviously we've got bars instead of these clip-ons that mm -hmm. we had on the race bike suspension is a lot more cushy obviously mm -hmm. uh, from the stock to uh you know an all-in suspension yeah definitely feels, kit we had <laughs> yeah yeah so you know you've got the bounce in it uh it feels super soft it which i like for a stock view uh, grom like this if you're just scooting around town and you're going to have some fun on some trails i think it's really nice to have obviously uh my grom that i raced uh, was a bit different and then the, so was the grom that we raced here in the grand prix it was uh, intentionally built but definitely yeah. a fan of how this sits super comfortable feet are flat uh, my back is up and down and my mm -hmm. hands are in a comfortable position so very nice yeah yeah there's a lot of like the mini bikes where i feel like the handlebars are too low or they're too high or too close or too far Honda does such a good job with kind of the, the ergo triangle that we talk about yes. so much on the channel. You know, being a, a group of different size guys, it's really important to us to be comfortable on a motorcycle. You know, oh, yeah. you can have the most high performance, like super rad fucking bike you've ever seen in your life. But if it's not comfortable to ride, then what's the point? Like, yeah, well, and even like, you know, how, how they cut the fairing for your knee, like mm. from me to you, the, my my leg fits right here just perfectly yeah. it's, and for someone of you know your yeah, I height, mean, even like it's not quite as good but it's still really really solid um where my legs fit on this and like i can be on the balls of my feet and feel a little sportier i can relax to like the arch of my foot or my heel and be really really comfortable so it's yeah. quite nice you want to scoot over to, to the hill climb and uh yeah see let's go see on? let's go see what's up with that little motocross track up there dude Ooh. <laughs> yeah, standing on these pegs, not advised. Oh, wow. What is happening up here? <laughs> Absolute <laughs> fucking muddy Mayhem. chaos. Mayhem. I'm oh, gonna go the, oh, so sketch. I'm going on the path of least resistance, Pat. Oh, not my fault. You're a wuss. <laughs> oh, it's slippery. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's slippery everywhere. I'm pretty sure I'm just spinning the rear tire. <laughs> okay, this is gravel and solid ground. I'm going to wait here for a sec. I'm right here with you. Okay. <laughs> is my back just covered in mud now? Uh, no, no, you're good. Oh, that little fender does well. No hill climb yet. The Creek Bottom Classic, so this is like their uh, ridiculous off-road course you can mm -hmm. do out here. And yeah. uh, we're not on our bikes, and we certainly don't have the tires for this, so we're definitely yeah. not going to go do that. So let's head back over to the Honda booth and uh, yeah. we will maybe go check out all the off-road trails that are back behind it. Because I think oh, those are gravel. Good. I th yeah, these are a little bit easier for the sock tire. All right. Again, one of the many activities here at Barber Small Boar is uh, dicking around on these little off-road trails over here. They were hill climbing this yesterday and it looks like they've closed it off. Oh man, here we go, Dually. Oh, here we go. Bro. Bit, uh, this is sick. I've never been what back here before. Neither have I. Woo. Oh, this is deep gravel. Be careful up here, buddy. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. It looks like there's a rock you can climb through. It looks like there's some table tops down there, too. Well, we got a guy coming, so we're going to follow oh. his lead. He's on... He's on little street tires. <laughs> then we should be, uh, we should be all right then. Yeah, we'll oh God, oh, it's slippery. Uh, it's slick. Oh, okay. Stopping right here. Uh, it says to go left. Let me put my sunglasses away. I think homie's stuck up there. 
Yeah, that's not the move. So we're gonna go left. We're just gonna go nice and slow. That tail light is actually super bright. Ooh, oh, 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 okay. Uh, play it safe here. Oh. <laughs> what, gear, what gear? What gear are you uh, in? First, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one's also not deep. Some of these are deep, but uh, some of them really aren't. <laughs> oh, my feet are full of mud now. My shoes. Are you at least, oh god. <laughs> this was a terrible idea. <laughs> oh god. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, bro, we, 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 fuck, we fucked up so bad. <laughs> oh, did we? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, um, uh, that's definitely uh, not doable. No, nah, we're gonna. I mean, no, we street, street tires. I mean, we can turn around. No. no. Stick dude. left here. Oh, front yeah, not break. bad. Not bad. No, dude, we're going. good. Oh, I'm not going down that. Oh, bro, you're good. It's all rocky and, like, actually grippy over here. Just front and rear brake, more rear than front. Okay, this is probably a reasonable spot. Boom. Eesh. Through it. Oh, no, yeah, no. <laughs> I made it. No problem. <laughs> Uh-huh, yeah, as I watched you struggle <laughs> up that hill. Where are you? There you are. Hey. We did it! We did it! With the grubs! <laughs> oh my god! I definitely took the uh, much safer route. <laughs> Good job, buddy. I'm fat. Alright, gang, it's been your boy Patty Rick. And, and it's been Dooley. <laughs> Here for Chase on Two Wheels at Barber Motorsports Park, oddly enough, in their off-road trail area with two 2025 Honda Groms that do not belong out here today. Um, it's been a fun little trip. Had a ton of fun, so thank you to Colin, uh, Corey, Chris, Madison, everyone on the whole Honda crew for having us out for yet another event so back-to-back -back with my West Coast trip. Thank you, thank you. Cannot be more appreciative. Super great people. Um, thanks to Dooley for coming along and racing last night, getting us the hey, W. Was a great time. Thanks for, for, the, for, the, for the time, and it was a blast, buddy. I yeah, enjoyed it. It was a great time. Okay, outro crew. Uh, did we make a poor decision with the amount of off-roading we just did? We have to clean these before we give them back to Honda. They're going to be mad. Did we make poor decisions? Did we not? Or were these good? All right. We love you guys longer. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.